The Psychology of Trading The human element of trading is often overlooked in favor of strategy. In trading, you can have the most successful strategy, but if it's not executed properly, you may not be a successful trader. One must take into consideration the emotions one will be faced with when trading real money. Fear and greed are usually the most prevalent and most difficult to deal with. This can influence trades by way of holding on to losing trades longer than necessary for larger losses or cutting winning trades off early for fear of the market going against you and missing out on possibly a larger gain. This is commonly referred to as letting your losers run and cutting your winners short, when in fact it should be the opposite. Gains should be maximized and losses minimized. In trading, just like in life, not everything is going to go your way and you need to prepare yourself to be a loser. Losing is part of trading. The best traders in the world do not make a profit on 100% of their trades. There are going to be losers. The profitable traders do win more than they lose usually and exercise good money management. Accepting losses is a huge step to removing emotion from trading. I'll make the analogy of trying to trade like a robot. Trading is not personal or emotional. Your reaction to winning trades and losing trades should be the same. There should not be a reaction to either side. If you get up and cheer when you make a profitable trade, you will take a loss twice as hard. This will get you into riding your trades like a roller coaster, staring at every single tick of the market, which is unhealthy both for your trading and for you getting regular sleep. If you do allow your emotions to enter the trading arena, it can cause you to make bad trades. You can feel bad about a losing trade and try to force another in an effort to make up for the previous trade, which then will compound the issue and you'll have just made two losing trades. On the flip side, overconfidence can create a feeling of invincibility. If you feel like you can't lose, it creates a situation where you take on riskier positions that you may not normally enter and could also cause you to take on unnecessary losses. This is all leading up to a very important aspect of trading, staying out of bad trades. This does not mean losing trades, just unnecessarily losing trades. Staying out of bad trades is just as important as getting into profitable trades. If you miss an opportunity, the Forex market has a tendency to be like public transportation. There is always another trade opportunity coming along right behind it. Do not try to jump onto or in front of a moving train. You will probably lose in the end. The market is open 24 hours a day, five and a half days a week. Don't be afraid to walk away and come back at a better time if you do not feel you are capable of leaving your emotions out of your trading. Nothing is better for improving your trading skills than live experience with real money. Demo trading experience is great for learning the market, the platform, and testing trading strategies. However, once real money is put into an account, stress, emotions, and adrenaline starts flowing and your demo trading experience means absolutely nothing. It will be a whole new ball game and you will need to learn to trade all over again. Becoming a successful trader is based on previous experiences and making mistakes. You will not be perfect and mistakes will be made. Just don't get down on yourself for making them. Most importantly, don't make the same mistakes over and over again. Learn from them and continuously improve your trading success rate.